my name is Betty, I'm 17 years old, and I am Taylor Swift's number one fan. Betty has forced her parents to replace all of her walls with life-size cutouts of Taylor Swift. Welcome to my room, aka the Swift Shrine. Let me give you a little tour. Over here, I have my first giant picture of Taylor Swift from the Speak Now era. So beautiful. Taylor holding a sunflower. My lyric wall, which I read every single night before I go to sleep. Taylor's face. Taylor in the woods. And Taylor in a big purple dress again. Betty, why do you have a bunch of sticky notes with the number 13 written on them in a corner? Well, because 13 is Taylor Swift's lucky number, of course. Because of that, I need to make sure that I listen to every single one of her albums at least 13 times a day each. What happens if you don't do that? Uh, never mind. Then over here, I have my iPod, which I use exclusively to listen to Taylor Swift's music. And over here, I have my phone, which I only use to watch Taylor Swift videos and follow her on every single social media platform. And well, that's everything. I got rid of anything that wasn't Taylor because, well, why would I need that? Betty has even given up on conventional beds. She now sleeps in this giant Eras Tour cup with pictures of Taylor Swift all over it. I got it at the Eras Tour movie premiere, which is the only movie I watch now. It's so comfy and cozy. I just sleep like a baby every night. <sighs> oh, it's a cruel summer with you. Betty's Spotify Wrapped showed that she spent one million minutes listening to Taylor Swift this year. That's not even possible. There are only 525,600 minutes in every year. Betty is defying the laws of physics. Yeah, honestly, my goal for next year is to get at least 13 million minutes. Those were rookie numbers for sure. Betty believes her Taylor Swift addiction is totally normal. However, her parents are starting to get worried and they're raising their concerns. I'm Betty's mom and it's gotten so bad that she won't even talk to me unless I speak in pure Taylor Swift lyrics. Let me show you. Hey, sweetie. What do you want for breakfast this morning? <sighs> it's me, mom. I'm the problem, it's me. Oh, hey mom. Betty, I won't make assumptions about what you want for breakfast. Maybe not burnt toast, Sunday, but you could have sweet tea in the summer. Those aren't even the right lyrics, mom. Ugh, get it right. Plus, you know I only eat things with Taylor Swift's face on them. Ugh, I am not Mrs. Perfectly Fine right now. She used to be such a sweet girl. Her real name isn't even Betty. It used to be Annabelle, just like her great-grandmother. Until she heard the Taylor Swift song called Betty. And then she made me change her name legally. I just want my daughter back. I'm Betty's dad. And one time I tried helping her for the good of this family. Hey, Annabelle. I, I mean, Betty. Why don't we listen to some other kinds of music for a change? No, just for a moment. You and I can have some father-daughter bonding moments. After that, we, we can listen to some more Taylor. <sighs> All right, well, I brought some Kanye West albums. Kanye? Yeah. Don't you dare whisper that name in my presence. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Well, Betty. Because you called me up again just to break me like a promise. So casually cruel in the name of being honest. Huh? Get out of my room. It did not work. Betty has a message that she wanted us to record for those who criticize her obsession with Taylor Swift. Some people may say that I'm obsessive and crazy. That's fine. You won't mind if I say, I don't care. Betty doesn't take well to criticism. Oh, and she gets downright hysterical if she doesn't remember the lyrics to one of her favorite songs. And all those Starbucks lovers, they'll tell you I'm insane. Wait, it's not Starbucks lovers. It's star-crossed lovers. <gasps> Taylor, I'm so sorry. I can't believe that I'm a fake fan. I'll never do it again. Lyric wall, lyric wall, lyric wall. I need the lyrics, I need the lyrics. 
understand they're like a ghost shaking from the rain. She'll open the door. Betty did not leave her room for a month as she sat there reading every single lyric over and over again. I will forever and ever. I will. Don't worry, Taylor. I'm staying here until I remember all of the lyrics to all 14 hours of your music. I'll never mess up again. Betty even started singing Taylor lyrics in her sleep. But this time, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we are never, ever, ever getting back together. Her voice nearly broke the camera. Oh, you're talking about the whole sleeping and singing thing? Well, that was a long time ago. I stopped sleeping or eating because it took away from my Taylor listening time. Same with this interview, actually. Could you, like, um, go away? Hey, ma'am, truly, it's getting out of hand. You should have seen her when Taylor played one of her favorite songs during a concert and she wasn't there. <laughs> Let's see what surprise songs Tay-Tay played at her concert tonight. <laughs> Because of Betty, multiple people in the neighborhood had to purchase earplugs. She was unconsolable. She did not stop sobbing for seven days straight. And if you even mention the word car to her, she will start screaming. Suddenly, just listening to Taylor Swift wasn't enough for Betty. Betty now wants to be Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is love. Taylor Swift is life. Taylor Swift is perfection. So why wouldn't I want to look as close to Taylor Swift as possible? If it takes plastic surgery, then that's the price I'm willing to pay. Betty is spending all of her parents' savings on music, merch, and now her Taylor Swift transformation costume. Honestly, we're broke. I don't even know where my credit card is. Okay. So I just got these packages in the mail today and I got this super blonde, super pretty wig that looks just like Taylor's hair. Let me just put it on. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I feel more like Taylor already. And then I also got this super realistic mask of her face. This is absolutely perfect. And now to top it all off, her iconic red lipstick. Now darling, I'm a nightmare dressed like a daydream.